first COVID-19 booster shot to promise better protection against Omicron variants is now under review at the FDA. Here to answer some questions is Dr. Shira Drone, the hospital epidemiologist at Tufts Medical Center. Dr. Drone, thanks for joining us. Great. All right, Dr. Daron, so the White House says it's hoping to offer at least two of these new booster shots this fall. They just received, the FDA did, an application from Pfizer. It expects to get a similar one within a couple of days from Moderna. Based on what you know right now, do you think we need these new specific Omicron-specific boosters? Well, the current vaccine regimens from Pfizer and Moderna, two doses and a booster, are extremely effective at preventing severe disease, and death from COVID-19. But what's so great about that mRNA vaccine technology is that you can so easily update the composition of the vaccine to match the circulating strains. Now, we haven't done that until now, but from a prevention standpoint, it certainly doesn't hurt and might help to use an updated vaccine. Maybe we could even see better and longer prevention of infection and transmission. Now, we don't have the clinical data to say whether the new version will be better so it's a bit of a financial gamble for the country and the companies, but it's one that the FDA's advisors felt it was time to take. Uh, well, and you kind of mentioned this FDA regulators, so they'll, they'll want data about safety, eff efficacy. What other questions do you think they'll have? Well, with this composition change, the FDA is not actually requiring extensive clinical data on safety or efficacy. So that information will have to be gathered once people start getting vaccinated with the new products. The studies show that the new vaccines can raise antibody levels more so than the current formulation against Omicron. But how that translates into prevention of illness will only become clear once it's in use. They'll want to know whether it prevents infection, hospitalization, and death more so than people who haven't received the new formulation, and whether it holds up better and for longer against future variants. All right, so as you know, Dr. Darone, any American age five or older is already eligible to get a booster shot right now with our current boosters. But in your opinion, are the options that are available now worth getting given that we might be as little as three weeks away from these Omicron specific boosters? Yes, I mean, as I said, we don't know that the new bo booster will actually perform better than the current one. And there's a lot of COVID out there right now. so. The higher risk you are for severe disease, the more you stand to benefit from getting your booster now rather than waiting. Hmm. To reiterate something you said, the vaccines, they're preventing severe illness, not necessarily preventing infection as well. Um, so that means there's still the virus out there, right? And it could still mutate into something even more contagious maybe than BA5. Do you think we're ready for that? The virus could mutate to be more contagious, uh, more immune evasive or more severe. Really, anything's possible at this point in time or things could continue to get better. We, we don't know. I'm worried that we may not be ready to scale up free testing as quickly as we need to, which in turn would lead to inequities and a lack of access to those life-saving treatments that we now have. I worry about hospital capacity and staffing during future surges. These are really difficult issues that I don't think we have yet fully solved or allocated enough funds from Congress to. All right, Dr. Shira Drone at Tufts Medical Center. Dr. Drone, good to see you. Thanks for your time. You too.